Welcome to my new video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to set up GTEC A20M in Cura. What are my print settings and how we can use the uh, mixing ability of GTEC A20M. First of all, go to the Ultimaker Cura's website and link will be in the description of this video. Click download for free, select your operating system and download the uh, uh, Ultimaker Cura, open it up. So when you open it, it's generally going to go through setup if you haven't already installed Cura. So just follow those steps. So when you are going through those steps, it will probably ask you to manage, uh, it will ask you to add the printer. You can select GTEC 8020M from those sections. But if you already installed GTEC 8020M like me, we can go through it. So let me first remove what I have and let's together re-edit step by step yes I am sure okay I am so now on I don't have any more GTEC 820M also before I forget this is the Cura version version 4.11.0 which is the most up-to-date one so when you download it you will get most up-to-date one as well so you have your Cura, everything installed, and you will add GTEC A20M. So we will come here and click Add Printers. Add Non-Network Printer. From there, go to the GTEC. Here. Then you will find GTEC A20M. Click that. And when you click it, as you can see, GTEC A20M is already attached and you can see two custom filament options right in here. Up until this point, we basically very quickly set up the GTEC A20M to Ultimate or Cura. This part is done. Now let's go to the print settings. Let's import our object in here. So I have this vase. Let's use this vase. Okay. Now I have my vase located right in here. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this model because I'm going to show you guys how to print them together with multi-material as well. So I have two of my uh, vases located right in here. I'm also putting the link to download this vase uh, in the description below. So you can do that as well. It is called Geroid Vase. So let's click this one way so it will make the counters blue which I did uh, which I clicked and counters are blue and as you can see I'm selected with the number one filament and there's also number two filament so when you click number one filament everything you see is becomes bright so whenever you click number two everything becomes dark and we need to just assign it and when you do the right click you click extruder 2 this becomes printable with extruder 2 and when you click this one it's extruder 1 so let's click one as you can see it highlights this one and you click the extruder 2 it highlights the second way so that's how you go between the extruders so layer height in generally if you want really high quality stuff you can go with 0 0.1 in normal quality stuff, I generally do 0 0.2 and I made the initial rail height 0 0.3 because it is indicated that way on top of the printer's pl uh, build plate. And now I'm changing the settings for the first phase, not the second one. And then regarding the wall thickness, these are default and I'm going to, not going to touch them because when you want a thicker wall thickness, it's basically because you want to drill or attach something to the wall, but 0.8 millimeter is pretty good. For the top and bottom, uh, new, Jura ha new Cura has different settings, so you can basically play with the top surface skins, but for this vase, I don't need to play with that, so I'm going to leave them as default too. Uh, depending on how flex, how flexing the material you want or how tough it, you can change the infill to between any value. I generally go with 20% and with the grid, you can make it cubic or gyroid to make it more stronger as well. And the print temperature in general, when I print with the PLA, is 200 Celsius, print speed 60, travels with 120. Um, enable retraction, yes. 
So regarding the retraction, 0.8, I get lots of retraction. So I change it to 3.5. And if you still have um, oozing in your filament, then you're printing between two objects. You can definitely change this number. Just do 0.5 increments and test it out to see what is your retraction distance you need. And after that, you will not have any more oozing. The speed is 35, which is great. I'm not going to do the Z hop. Enable cooling. Yes, we need cooling. This is PLA. I don't need any support um, for the build plate adhesion. I generally use brim or raft. And I will go with a five millimeter, uh, five millimeter brim width. Enable prime tower. So when you do the dual extrusion, it's going to build a prime tower right in here. So you can see the shadow disappeared and appeared. So it will basically wipe the extruder and you can change the XY position of the prime tower by changing these values. Um, this will help to uh, transition between the filaments. So it will be good to have a prime tower. And yeah, that's it for the settings I, I that I generally use. And for the second one, you can again see um, some of the settings already applied in here. You can change the other settings. That's definitely depending on you. So you can see the enable retraction section. It's not changed the 3.5 millimeter. Um, but some of the sections like the layer height and the initial layer height, those are uh, dependent. And as you can see, shared between extruders and they are linked. So they are going to change together. If you don't see that sign, you can see these signs over here, the chain sign. Those are combined with the first extruder. So if you don't have these chain signs, you can change those settings independently from the first extruder, which is great. Okay, so whenever I have this, so it will be um, printing the first one with the the waist on the left with the extruder one, waist on the right with the extruder two. So I can do a dual color, two different materials. That's how we can print this. And this, if this were to be an assembly, you can again, by selecting the object and by assigning it to different extruder, as you see here, you can simply um, change the color of the color of the part that you are printing in there. So let's slice this. Based on your computer speed, the slicing is going to take different time. Okay, right now it is sliced and you can see it's going to take 11 hours, 105 grams, and we can save it to the disk of our extruder. At this point, let's go to the preview because we need to record the layer numbers uh, if we want to change the color along the z-axis. So, uh, as you can see, we have the layers in here and the prime tower is gonna get built on the side. And we have many layers in here, right? And let's see. So up to, let's say, I wanna use extruder one uh, for like 40. Let's note this one down. I don't wanna forget. I wanna print with extruder one uh, with up until layer 40. And then I wanna get, um, color change until here let's say 750 okay let's say 750 up to here i want to get a color change mixing from 0 to 100 and then whatever the final value is 939 i want to get different color full solid and that's what I need to know between which layer parts I want to change the color mixing issue between the which layers that I want to do the color mixing. That's what I need to know. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one because I just want to do only a single object. Let's center this selected object. And as you can see, it is in there. I'm going to print it with extruder one. It's selected as extruder one. This extruder selection is for just using one color with one part, the other color with the other part. But if I want to do color mix, it doesn't matter because we will do it differently. So I'm going to slice this and export this um, G code to my desktop. And then we will move on to the color mixer. Now it's four hours single ways. And I'm going to save that, which is saved at this point. 
and now uh, we will go to the color mixing um, let's go to there okay this is the windows as so i have virtual machine in the virtual machine uh, you download the color mixer from the website of the from the website of the gtech and you can see the the website link in the description below and i also put in the description um how to do links in there regarding the color mixer usage and some videos and some download sections so in the in their website let me quickly show you that as well guys in their website right in here gtech.com download section when you go to the related softwares you can see the color mixer and you can download windows and mac any type however when i download their mac it doesn't work it doesn't open that's why i downloaded their windows version and in windows it works and i'm putting this link and other links in the description down below as well so from there download it and whenever you download you just like double click the color mixer after you unzip it and the color mixer opens up you just need one of them yep and here so you click the import g code and as you know i downloaded this gyrate i created this gyrate g code at the desktop so whenever you download that it says g code loaded successfully and as you can see it is in here the system sees that and we have extruder zero and extruder one in extruder zero i have yellow color let's click the yellow color in here let's make it select in extruder one i have red color let's select that one too and this is the g code name in here number of layers here layer height is here machine type so in my GTEC 8070M, I have two materials into the one nozzle. So there are versions three materials into the one nozzle. So you select accordingly. I select a two to one. As you guys might remember, we talked about this of so configuration here. So from layer one to layer 40, I noted down before, I want 100% from extruder one to till 100% from extruder one. It's extruder zero, which is yellow color. I want 100% that color at that point from one to 40. Let's click add again. So from 41 to 750 as we speak. So you, you need to basically follow the lines in here. Okay. Not 40 to 40, 40 to 41, 41 to 750. I want a swap so it will start 100% easier at layer 41 till extruder 1 reaches 100% so it goes transitions from yellow towards red slowly so we will see some orange and let's add another portion so from 751 till um, 950 I want 100% extruder 1 which is going to be the red and that's it let's click preview and as you guys can see in this line over here you see the color change from yellow till the red with a little bit orange in here there's going to be a transition and in here we said mix the colors so it says color in your g-code g-code colored successfully now we click export g-code g-code where it's colored i'm just gonna save it to my desktop and that's it so now i can close this one i can close this one i can go back to my um desktop actually let's go to desktop and in here you can see that g code that we created right in here colored you just plug it into your gtech a20 m and it will just do the magic and right in here i did that my example as you guys can see, it is pretty much nicely colored and looking great. So from yellow section that we wanted, red section that we wanted, and in between, uh, the color change occurred, as you guys can see. Cool. So this sums up our video 
uh, more or less. I just want to talk about a couple more things. So you do have option right in here in Cura, post-processing, modify G-code. So in here, you can create an edit script and you can have, um, where is it? Color mix ability. So you can create that. Um, I was going to say you can use Cura to create this color mixes, all those kind of stuff with the extensions, post-processing, modify G-code portion. However, sometimes it doesn't work and it, it gives me a trouble. So that's why I don't use this. I don't know, it's because of unstable, there are errors, especially 4.11 Cura, I don't like it, there are so much errors, bugs, uh, so I avoid that. So that's why I don't use the plugin with the Cura, but I directly use the Windows version that I just show you guys. Okay, this concludes my video. Um, the one last thing that I wanna show you guys is the GTEx website. So in here, um, in their website, you can download many things. So in this link, from this link, you can download the user manuals, firmwares, and you can watch the related videos with this printer. Uh, that's pretty great. And from the, again, same um, website, you have the Jura configuration files if you want to download and directly use them. And there's a tutorial for configuring Jura for multicolor print, GTEC multicolor printer. So go check them out as well if you're interested. And yeah, this is the all end of my video. I will add all the links in the description of this video. You can click and see all these details. Uh, if you guys like this video, please click the thumbs up button and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming new videos. We will do a review for this printer as next. And yeah, last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and see you guys in the next video.